Hello everyone, welcome to the SBI Securities Weekly Wrap Podcast. So first, let's discuss how the markets have been in the week gone by. Indian benchmark indices ended higher for the week, snapping their two consecutive weeks of decline. The recovery in the market was led by favorable global cues post the Fed's policy meeting outcome, where the policy rates were left unchanged at 525 to 5.5% range. The comment by Fed Chair Jerome Powell post-meeting sounded a bit dovish and market believed that the interest rate in US has now peaked, albeit it may remain at an elevated level for near term. The bond yields in the US across 10 year cooled off and equities recovered from recent lows. In India, the Nifty and Sensex closed with gains of 1% and 0.9% respectively for the week while mid and small cap indices mildly outperformed with gains of 2% and 1.9% respectively. The ongoing result season so far has been without much negative surprises. For a sample of 949 companies which have reported results so far, the net profit growth of the sample is 33% YOY and 19.4% QOQ to around 2.1 trillion rupees. Banks, auto and FMCG companies have reported strong financial performance so far. Next week, global queues and ongoing result season will continue to play an important catalyst for stock specific actions. There are 1,670 companies uh, due to declare their second quarter FY24 results next week and hence broader market will witness an increased level of traction. Additionally, global queues and geopolitical tensions, particularly in West Asia, will continue to be important events to track. Talking about the weekly sectoral gainers and losers on BSE, all the sectoral indices ended in the green except BSE Auto. Realty sector was the best performer, up 10.4% for the week. October data for the Mumbai Realty market, which is a major market for the real estate industry in India, the data was very strong and the sector outperformed as a result. The oil and gas, consumer durables and PSU indices too performed well, gaining between 3 to 3.5% in the week. The auto index ended 0.7% lower despite strong auto sales for October. Talking about the weekly Nifty 50 gainers and losers, so the top gainers this week on Nifty were BPCL, Apollo Hospital, Titan, Hindalco and Ultratech Cement, while top losers were M&M, Maruti Suzuki, Dr. Reddy's, Tata Steel and Bajaj Finser. Taking a check on some key monitorables, FIIs continued to uh, uh, remain net sellers during the week. And they sold around 6,300 crores, while DIIs continued to provide the buying support, buying net buy figure of 5,074 crores. Brent crude eased to 85 to 86 dollar per barrel from levels of uh, 90 dollar last week, and U.S. bond yields have also cooled to 4.8 percent after touching 5 percent in the previous week. This week saw the October uh, auto sales uh, come out from all the uh, companies and uh, the trend has been that passenger vehicles saw strong growth YOY in the festive uh, season with Maruti and MNM beating estimates. SUV sales for Maruti were up 91% YOY with its new launches such as the Frongs, Jimny, Brezza and Grand Vitara doing extremely well. While Tata Motors passenger vehicle sales remained relatively subdued. On the two-wheelers front, it was a bumper month for Bajaj Auto, TBS Motor and Hero Motor Corp with strong domestic volume growth, while exports also continued to recover month-on-month for all the three companies. Royal Enfield reported weak growth due to 39% fall in exports. On the commercial vehicle front, it was a strong performance by Ashok Leyland, M&M, Aishar Motors and Tata Motors in the heavy truck segment due to demand from infrastructure and mining sector continuing to be robust. Tractors however were a weak point. Both Escorts, Kubota and M&M reported weak sales. Exports continue to be weak due to El Nino conditions developing globally. This week, we had many companies declaring their second quarter earnings. 
so among prominent ones and which have reported good numbers blue star reported revenue growth of 19.5% yoy ebitda growth of 43% and a profit growth of 65% yoy the margin uh, stood at 6.5% improving 110 basis points yoy in the second quarter so strong set of results from blue star apl apollo tubes the consolidated revenue grew 16.7% ebitda grew 40% while pat grew 35% yoy ebitda margin improved 120 basis points yoy to 7% lnt the engineering and construction giant also reported good set of results at beat estimates revenue consolidated revenue grew 19% ebitda grew 15% and pat was up 37% yoy kpit technologies one it company which has uh, reported very strong set of results and even raised its guidance so revenue growth of 60% ebitda growth of 74% and pat growth of 69% yoy respectively and the ebitda margin improved 150 basis points yoy to 20% Sun Pharma the pharma major reported revenue growth of 11% yoy ebitda growth of 7% and pat growth of 5% yoy however the margin was down 90 basis points to 26.1% in the quarter in some key results for next week aisha motors mnm from the auto space varun beverages ongc and a whole host of mid caps and small caps will report their numbers next week This week we uh, released uh, two uh, stock recommendations so in pick of the week we have given PSP uh, projects at a price of 783 rupees with a price target of 901 rupees this company is an integrated epc company and uh, primarily undertakes construction of buildings especially hospitals government offices sports complexes corporate offices and residential apartments Uh, key growth drivers for this company are a healthy order book of around 4900 crores as of uh, September end with the uh, government projects uh, comprising 52% of the order book the company has a very healthy bid pipeline of about 9500 crores which is almost two times of the current order book and it has a ex- excellent execution track record its revenue in the first half of fy24 was up 60% yoy on back of uh, pickup in order execution it reported very good set of results in q2 uh, this week so standalone revenue was up 70% yoy and ebitda jumped 90% yoy and profit growth also was a strong 70% yoy so at current price it is trading at uh, fy24 p multiple of 14.5 times and uh, 11.8 times on fy25 earnings and we believe the valuations are attractive given the growth prospects for the company another call uh, in the pick of the day was a pnb housing finance uh, we recommended it at 728 rupees with price target of 801 rupees This uh, company is a leading housing finance company with uh, over three decades of experience in home financing, and has a robust uh, branch network across the country. The company has diversified product portfolio with significant retail mix in both salaried and non-salaried uh, customers, and the management has guided for loan book growth of 17 to 18 percent per annum for the next three to four years. Uh, it also reported good set of results and the nii was up 2% yoy and net profit was up 46% yoy asset quality continues to remain healthy the gross nps dropped 200 basis points uh, sequentially to 1.8% at uh, current price the stock is trading at price to book of 1.2 times fy24 Uh, consensus uh, earnings and which is attractive given the roa and strong roa and improving asset quality also this week we released our diwali picks for the new uh, samvat uh, and we have recommended 10 stocks uh, the names are icici bank maruti suzuki ultratech cement polycap kalyan jewelers praj industries titagard rail systems mrs bector foods kolte patel and good luck india 
uh, you can refer to our detailed report which we have released across all our social media channels and on the website for the diwali picks so this was all about the weekly market uh, podcast thank you for listening have a great trading week ahead investment in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing